Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to join multiple tables from SQL Server database and bind into a single data grid view control. And here we got the results in a data grid view control, the country name, state name and city name. These three columns from three different tables are joined to a single data grid view control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new windows application, open file, new, project. And from the windows template, I am choosing windows forms application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is multiple tables bind. Okay. And here the project is successfully created. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this form one design, I'm adding one data grid view control open toolbox. From the data folder, I am adding data grid view control. Let me expand this data grid view. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now double click the form on design page. It will generate the form load event. First, Let's add the SQL Server database namespaces using system.data.sql client using system.configuration. The system.configuration namespace in Windows application, the system.configuration namespace is not included in our project. Let's add the system.configuration namespace in our references folder, open solution explorer. I'm expanding the references folder and notice there is no any system.configuration. Let's add DLL library of the system.configuration. Right click the references, add references. In the assemblies framework, come to the bottom, system.configuration. I'm selecting the checkbox control, click OK. And here the system.configuration is added under references folder in our project. Let me minimize this one. After adding the system.configuration and data.sql client namespaces, now we need the SQL Server database connection. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding here SQL Server name. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here the sample DB dot DB connection is added under data connections. Now we need the now we need the data source of this sample DB. Right click the sample DB dot DB Go to properties. Notice in the connections section there is a connection string property. Just copy the data source. Let's add this data source connection in the app.config file. Open Solution Explorer. App.config, open that one. Now in this app.config, after configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name is equals to, I'm adding my connection name. Connection string, I'm adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app.config file let's switch back again to form1.cs we'll write the coding part to bind multiple tables into a single data grid view control string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings Between these double quotes, I'm adding my connection string name, which is my connection. Copy this one. Paste here. Dot connection string. 
I'm creating a SQL connection object. SQL con is equals to new SQL connection. Now in this SQL connection, I'm adding this main con variable. String SQL query is equals to. Now here the SQL query is, I'm joining the multiple tables using inner join. Before writing the select statement, let's visit the SQL server database. We check the table and the column names I want to bind. I'm joining three tables. One is a country which contains two columns, CID, CNAME. CNAME is a country name. And the second table is a state table which contains three columns, SID, SNAME and CID. SID is an auto gendered column, SNAME is a state name and CID is a country ID. So when we are joining two tables, at least one column must be common between the tables. Here notice a CID in the state table, which is a city ID. And in the country table also, I have the CID, the country ID. If you check the state table, which contains the three columns, city ID, city name and SID. And this SID is also available in the state table. Let's join the tables. Select country is a table name dot column name is a C name. The country table name and the C name. Comma state is a table name. S name S is capital city dot city name from DBO dot country now I'm adding the inner join dbo dot state table SQL query class is equals to in country table and state table the CID column is common. Let's add this on country dot CID is equals to state dot CID in a join DBO dot city table on in city table and state table, state ID is common. State dot SID is equals to city dot SID. That's it. We have written the select statement to join multiple tables. SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes the parameters SQL query. And the second parameter is the connection object, which is SQL con. Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method. SQL data adapter SDR is equal to new SQL data adapter SQL com object. Data table DT is equal to new data table. Now I am filling the data table with SDR, SDR.fill method, DT. Now let's bind the data grid view control, data grid view one dot data source is equals to DT, data table object. The final one, let's close the connection string, SQL con dot close method. That's it, we have done the complete coding part. Start. 
and here we got the results in a data grid view control the country name state name and city name these three columns from three different tables are joined to a single data grid view control that's it